Okay, this video coming up is um, installing aluminum handrails on a composite deck. We used AFCO Series 100. Um, on one deck we used, I think on the one I showed most of it, it's four inch post, but they come in four and three inch. And also, see this cool hat? Stay tuned to the end, and I'll show you how to win one absolutely free. All right, boss man, what we up to? Show those glasses you got on. Here we go. Come on in. Pull in tight. <laughs> um, putting in, you're gonna have to go where I pull. Are you good with that? I'm gonna put in these posts today and the rails that go with it. You wanna shoot that deck over there? That's the deck we did in a previous video. We're doing this. We're gonna do them both at the same time and it'll end up looking like the deck over there. Three in a row. Three in a row. So we're gonna just get lined up for these posts. Get one in each corner. We're gonna have three in that section. And then three right here. With one in the corner, of course. And then just two on this side. So the main thing we normally do is get them, get them in the corners, all four corners first. And then we'll pull a string so that this one in the middle lines up exactly with the others and then we've got these composite shims that we'll use to make sure the posts are nice and plumb use composites that doesn't anything rock and then these are the bolts we use or flag screws <laughs> this cameraman ever okay so all we're going to do now is we get those lined up so you can pause the video <laughs> <laughs> okay so we got this post sitting in here and our thought process can you come down on top of this tape measure <laughs> this overhang right now is three quarters of an inch and then this fascia on the side is half an inch which gets us to an inch and a quarter so at an inch and a quarter is right there and then we know that our joist underneath here goes a full inch and a half so if we go an inch and a quarter to two and three quarters that's where our joist underneath all this is so two inches that hole will line up right dead center of that joist and we did the same thing on the back side. So if we get these corners nice and square, everything will line up just right. So we're gonna do that. I'm gonna mark these holes and I'm landing right on that split. So you're not gonna be able to see that, Connor. We're gonna pre-drill and then we're gonna go ahead and get our bolts in. And as we're tightening the bolts up, we'll be checking with our level all the way around and shimming as necessary. And it done got hot out here, didn't it? Fit, you know, Connor, fitting to get hotter. It's not the heat around here. This is humidity. Ain't that the truth? What do you think? Is that post gonna save lives? Yes. Posts save lives. Posts. Postuses. Post so I am confusion. America, explain! Explain! What do you mean? So we put a post in right here. This post is solid. That other corner is solid. Right where we want them. So now we've got a string pulled in between the two. This middle post has not been locked in yet. But you can see that that string is laying flush against the back side of that post. And it's you can make sure that post is square to the other one by making sure it's lined up on that string all the way. Okay, so that's the deck we were working on in the last clip. Now we got over here and got these posts on. These are three inch black. Those are four inch bronze. But we've got these all on. Connor's finishing this last one up. 
something probably worth mentioning when you get up near the house you have to be make or to be careful to make sure that this cover will fit down in there so we got them as close as we could but if you put it all the way up you won't get that you get done you won't be able to slap slide that on but after we get done we are making sure we go ahead and get that <laughs> covers on because they have to go on before the rails if you forget and put the rails on you got to take the rails back off to put those on so we started at 11 o'clock it is 12 46 so that ain't bad just under two hours as soon as it gets that one done that'll be 5 11 post there's six over there five over here. so that ain't bad not bad at all I've been working on that beer. I will remember you. Will you remember me? All right, so here's where we are. We've already got this rail with the pickets put together. Um, so what we did is we measured from this post to this post. That number was 114 and three quarter. So we got our 10 foot rail out. We, we measured that rail to make sure it was 120 inches. So we took 120 minus 114 and three quarter. That got us down to five and a quarter. Then we divide that number by two. God, what was that? Two and five eighths. So we took two and five eighths off of each end. That way it keeps your pickets centered. And then we just kind of line that up with the top rail and actually took three eighths inch more off of each end that gives clearance for these top brackets that we're putting in so then we take the top rail laid it down put all our pickets in that and then we came back with the bottom rail everything was upside down and we popped all that in and then once we get up back up on the deck come up it was 34 and a half in this case but we mount these brackets got those on both ends and while we were at it we went ahead and pre-drilled for the next ones coming in we just centered that up but that's all in the instructions so now we've got these bottom pieces on each end and that's a little trim piece that'll go on the top so we're going to pick it up and set it in and if we did everything right it'll drop right in. we can just tighten up the screws like a, like a glove all right ready probably gonna be right in the way careful it doesn't fall out the bottom those pickets yeah oh yeah Post. Are you all the way in? Yeah, I'm about to touch the post though. Yeah, on the bottom I am. Jeez. You alright? Well, you see it's coming apart. Are you in at the top? Yes. I need you to, if you can. Wait, hold on a second. Man. Yeah, I can't let my in. That's what we're talking about, ain't it? I'll let it come and loose. I can see where it's at. We're gonna have to take it back out. Okay. Like pause the camera. Yeah, you're gonna have to edit all this stuff out. It's the real deal, man. Yeah, you know, they only see it. Only see the easy stuff. Yeah. So normally what we're struggling with, normally these fit in here so tight, we can just set it right in. Never even thought about it before. But these 
are really loose this time. So we need to get this set in here and then take our lower bracket, screw it in to the side, and we'll take a screw through the bottom of this bracket into this. We've also got to get some little supports that go under here. We've got to measure and cut those first. So we can't screw all this in until we do that. But we're having to find a way to hold it while we do that. We're going to try to put a 2x4 underneath to hold it in place. You just had to start the Won't come out. What brought you to that conclusion? So there's two screws that go in at the bottom in that bracket. I already got the one underneath. And then let's see if I can find it. This little trim piece. Slides right over. But they come with this little two sided sticky, so we'll put that on there, slide the trim piece on, and that sticky will keep it from moving around. But that's one. Knock this one out, go over there and get that one. It's two o'clock, I don't know if we'll get them all done today, probably not. But only got to start. All right, this one's all done. Three fifteen, and this deck is complete now we're going to jump over there and catch that one and the third one down there we've already done that one and the fourth one we stained but not too shabby all right that's that i don't think there was anything i left off while filming that um i don't know of anything but here's the hat Got the little logo on there, JH Services on the back, kind of, I guess that's a trucker style hat. Very cool hats, in my opinion, and the few people that we've talked to about them. If you'd like one of those hats, um, subscribe to the channel, give it a thumbs up, and comment on this video within 12 hours of when it was published. And from now on, every video that goes out, I'm gonna give away a free hat, but you got to comment on there. So, in order to kind of be in the running, you need to click the notification bell so you'll know when the videos are posted so you can get in there quick and see it. But anyway, as always, thanks.